Roll for Crit presents how to play Ecologies in five minutes or less or more. Ecologies is the game of building and maintaining biomes and food webs for both fun and educational purposes. Designed by Matt Montrose. Your goal in Ecologies is to be the first player with a total of 12 victory points amongst all of your played cards. There are three types of cards. Biomes, different types of habitats, organisms, living things that inhabit your biomes, and factors, either biotic or abiotic, which feature game-altering effects. Each player begins the game with a hand of seven cards. Each of your turns is composed of four steps. First, you'll draw two cards to your hand from the main deck. There is no hand limit. Second, you have the option of trading cards with other players. You can make trades with just one player or with multiple players during this step. Trades do not have to be even. You could swap three of your own cards for just one of someone else's. Any type of trade is valid as long as both players agree, and cards involved in a trade come only from players' hands. Once a card is played, it is no longer eligible for a trade. That brings us to step three of your turn, playing cards. You can play up to two cards from your hand, face up in front of you, to your personal play area. You can play one or two cards, but you don't have to play any cards if you don't want to. Your main goal in playing cards is to develop ecologies. Ecologies consist of one biome card and one or more organism cards that make up a food web. There are seven different types of biomes, each one distinguished by the color of its border. In order to form an ecology, you must start by playing a biome, as no organisms can be played without one. Organisms also have color-coded borders to indicate which biomes they're capable of surviving in. Some organism cards are multicolored, as they can survive in multiple biomes. In order to play an organism, you must have a biome with a matching color played in front of you. In the top left corner of an organism card, you'll find an abbreviation indicating its trophic level, which determines where and when you can play it. P for producer, C for consumer, and SD for scavenger, decomposer, or detritivore. In the top right, you'll see the number of victory points the organism is worth. And at the bottom, you can read which other organisms this one eats or is eaten by. Once you've played a biome card, the second card that you add to your ecology must be a producer. This is because producers do not require any other organisms to survive. A non-producer organism cannot be played until one of the organisms it eats also exists in that ecology. Once a producer is in play, then you can play a consumer or scavenger that eats that producer, followed by other consumers that eat one or more of the other existing organisms. These cards don't have to be played one for one. Multiple predators can survive off of a single prey card. SD cards also list decaying biomass as something they can eat. Note that this is in reference to the fact that they can survive off of any other organism in the food web. There is no decaying biomass card. An organism's trophic level also determines its placement in an ecology. Biomes and producers go on the bottom row, with C1 primary consumers and scavengers sharing a row above them. Next up would be C2 secondary consumers, then C3, then anything C4 or higher in a row at the top. It doesn't matter what order cards are arranged in as long as they're in the appropriate rows. If you manage to create an ecology that features at least one producer, scavenger, and consumers of levels 1 through 3, that is considered a healthy ecology. As long as you maintain this healthy ecology, you'll have access to the Healthy Ecology bonus printed on its biome card. This is an effect that could help you or allow you to take a unique action during your turn. It is possible to have multiple Healthy Ecology bonuses active simultaneously, in which case their effects stack upon each other. You'll notice that some organisms have a range of trophic levels. On any given turn, these cards can act as any one of these levels for the purposes of a healthy ecology, but not more than one. You can have multiple ecologies in play. If at any time an organism is removed due to a card effect, any organisms that survived by eating that organism are discarded, unless you have another ecology they could move to that would support them. You're free to rearrange the cards in your ecologies however you'd like during your turn while following these rules. The other card types you can play on your turn are biotic and abiotic factors. Some of these are one-time effects. Simply follow their instructions and discard them when finished. Others are placed onto the field and have ongoing effects. Often these factors can be used to harm other players or to protect yourself. Read the cards carefully to know how to use them. After playing up to two cards, the fourth and final step of your turn is to purchase. During this optional step, you can discard four cards from your hand that you don't want in order to draw one new card from the deck. Another way to purchase cards is to destroy one of your personal ecologies. To do so, discard every card in the ecology. For every three cards discarded this way, you get to draw one from the deck. You can make multiple purchases per turn as long as you're willing to give up the necessary cards. 
After a player completes these four steps, the next player takes their turn, and so on in clockwise order. Remember that only the draw card step of your turn is mandatory. You could skip any or all of the other steps during your turn if you'd like. The game ends as soon as one player has played organism cards worth a combined 12 or more points, and that player is declared the winner. If the deck runs out, reshuffle the discard pile to form a new one. If both the deck and discard pile are empty, continue playing until a new discard pile is formed. If both piles are empty and an entire round passes without anyone playing any cards, the game ends and the player with the highest score wins. In conclusion, draw cards, trade cards, play biomes, producers, scavengers, and consumers, and learn something. That's Ecologies in a nutshell. Did you get all that?